Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to be working on number 52 on the CSET multi-subject math and science teacher certification exam. This is the final problem in our CSET math uh, multi-subject set for the, uh, for the math and science uh, CSET 2 exam. So I'm very excited if you've been watching all these videos in this series. Uh, this one involves probability and it also gives us a, some review of some uh, number sense vocabulary. So I'll start by reading it over, and then we'll organize the information and talk about how to solve it. All right, so number 52. It says, each of the numbers from 4 to 24 inclusively is written on a separate piece of paper and placed in a bag. If one of these pieces of paper is randomly selected from the bag, what is the probability that the number on it will be a prime number? Read that to yourself. Read this question to yourself. As you read it over, visualize the scenario and think about, think about some of the math vocabulary in the problem. We see words like randomly and probability. Those are really key words that you're dealing with uh, a probability type of question. But then we also see words like prime number and inclusively. And then that's a little number sense and operations vocabulary. Uh, let's start with uh, inclusive. We're talking about numbers that are inclusive. That means we're going to include the 4 and the 24 in our data set. So don't leave those out. When we talk about prime numbers, prime numbers are numbers like 2 and 3 and 5. These are numbers that have um, two factors, one in themselves. Like 2 can be divided by 1 and 2. It's got two factors, one in itself. And it has to be two different factors. Um, so uh, it can't be 1 here, which is 1 and itself go into 1. That's double dipping. So 2 is a prime number, 3 is divisible by 1 and 3, 5 is divisible by 1 and 5, or 1 in itself. So 1, 3, 5, they're all prime numbers. So we got a little review of what a prime number is. Now let's talk about, before we go on any further, let's talk about probability, since that's the heart of the question. When we think of probability, I want you to think about a part-to-whole relationship. The part here would be the number of prime numbers in your data set. Number of prime, uh, prime numbers that are located between uh, 4 and 24. And your whole, this is all the numbers. All the numbers. So we're thinking of all the numbers between 4 and 24. And that's going to create a partial relationship, which is a fraction. And we're, probably, and we're going to be able to match it up with one of these fractions here. So to get to that, let's first start by, uh, let's draw a picture of this. Let's do our number sense and operations uh, strategies where we visualize it and draw a picture of that bag and actually start to, to write down all the numbers between 4 and 24, like 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I want you to do this too. First, identify how many numbers in your data set. That's your whole. So that's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. All right, how many numbers do I have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So 21 numbers make up my whole. Out of the 21, how many are prime? You got You review that definition of prime. It, it's a number that only has um, two factors, one in itself, like 5 and 7. What other numbers? 11 and 13. 17 and 19 and 23. We find out that there's seven prime numbers out of our total set of 21. So I've got a part to whole relationship of 7 to 21, which reduces, if we divide this by 7, both the 
top and bottom by a factor of 7. It reduces to 1 third. So there's a 1 third chance that if you reach into the bag, you're going to pull out a prime number. Now look at this problem. We got to review a, a probability question. We also got to review um, the definition of prime numbers and you know this uh, visualization model drawing strategy and reducing fractions. So lots of core, core math in this one problem, number 52. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this problem team. This is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Stay tuned for more. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.